Welcome back to Storytime with a Scientist. Today we are joined by Ken and Chris, and we will be reading What's for Lunch by Sarah L. Thompson and illustrated by Niall A. My tummy is empty. It's even making a growling noise. I'm hungry. What's for lunch? A turkey sandwich, crunchy carrots, a glass of milk, and a chocolate covered strawberry for dessert. What's for lunch? Can I just eat chocolate covered strawberries for lunch? Mom says no. Dad says no. Why not? Mom says my body needs different things to eat. Dad says each kind of food on my plate does a job. My turkey has protein. So does my milk. Protein builds my muscles and bones so that they stay strong and I can grow. My bread has carbohydrates to fill me up with quick energy. My chocolate has fat. Fat can give me a lot of energy. Plus, my body uses it to store vitamins and to build all sorts of things. My body saves up fat for when I need it. And it can give me and it can keep fat inside me for a long time. So I need to eat only a little bit at a time. My strawberries have vitamin C. My carrots have vitamin A. My body needs a lot of different vitamins and each one has its own job. My strawberries and my carrots have fiber too. So does my whole wheat bread. Fiber helps my body get rid of waste, stuff it doesn't need inside. Vitamins. Vitamin A is good for skin, hair, and eyes. Vitamin C helps the body heal itself. Vitamin D is good for bones and teeth. We get it from food, but also from sunlight. Vitamin E helps keep you healthy. Vitamin K is good for bones and helps blood clot after a cut. My milk has a mineral called calcium. Calcium makes my teeth and bones strong. Other foods have other minerals that my body needs. My milk has water too. Water keeps my body from getting too hot or too cold, and it helps me wash out waste. I need to drink a lot of water to stay healthy. Minerals. Calcium helps me grow strong bones and teeth. Copper is good for blood. Iron carries oxygen through the body. Water. Water doesn't just come in a glass. It's in all kinds of foods and drinks. Some food does only one job for my body. Sugar has carbohydrates and nothing else. That gives me quick energy, but it doesn't last long. Food that are better for me do a lot of jobs at once. A peanut butter sandwich on whole wheat bread has protein for bones and muscles and carbohydrates for energy and fat for even more energy and fiber to help get rid of waste and vitamins and minerals to make my body work right. Food builds bones and muscles. It helps me grow. It gets rid of waste. It keeps me healthy. And it does a lot more. Most of all, food gives me energy. I couldn't play or talk or think or even breathe without energy.
The energy in food is measured in calories. All food have calories. How many I get depends on what foods I pick and how much I eat. To get 100 calories of energy, I could eat one scrambled egg or two thin slices of ham or one cup of grapes or two cups of cherry tomatoes or half cup of noodles with butter or half plain bagel or one small piece of chocolate. There's an easy way to make sure I'm getting what my body needs. I can split up my plate into four parts. Fruits. One part is for fruit, like my strawberry. Vegetables. One part is for vegetables, like my carrots. Carbohydrates. One part is for carbohydrates, like the bread in my sandwich. Protein. One part is for protein, like my turkey. Plus, I can fill up a glass with milk or water. I can kick a ball in soccer. I can do a cartwheel. I can figure out a problem. I can color a picture. I can grow and grow and grow. But I can't do any of these things without food. Time for lunch. Oh, so you're thank you, everybody, for joining us today. I just wanted to give a special thank you to Chris and Ken for reading the book today. Please stay tuned for more story time with a scientist, and we'll see you next time.